Hey guys, welcome back to Metaphor. Hope you guys liked the first video. It was a long one. We got an introduction to our characters and the setting and the world. And we read a bunch of the lore and it was really fun. So our main character, who I have named William, joins the army, meets Stroll, has a fairy, um, has a mission. We fought a human. We awakened to power of the archetypes and it's all really awesome stuff and then we just met another guy named Grius and we're going to talk more to him in this episode and see where all where the wind takes us basically and where our journey is going to take us today thank you guys for watching and i hope you enjoy the video and i'll see you guys in the comments the lad's out cold but he'll live we should be fine if we take a moment's rest here Oh, you're a sight for sore eyes, Grius. Just wish it were under better circumstances. We're both alive. And you can't ask for much better in these parts. Sorry I couldn't join you in the fray. So, this is our newcomer, eh? How'd this boy manage to command power like that? It's like nothing I've ever seen. Do you know anything about it? I might. For now, the mission comes first. Right. I'd better just get straight to the message. Grius, you have a new mission. Avenge the king. And kill Luis Guiaburn. Well, good. It's about damn time. Those scheming nobles haven't said so publicly, but every soldier knows it was nothing natural that killed the king. Damn that Luis. Couldn't stop at one royal, could he? Wait, there's more. The prince is getting worse. We're running out of time. Here, look. I brought a treasure from the village. They called it a Farsight Mirror. You need to see the Prince's condition for yourself. Through the mirror lies the Prince, deep in slumber in the hidden village. His Highness won't last much longer. Those thorns are thick enough to claim him. Luis cast the curse, so killing him is the only way to lift it. If we wait any longer, we're just going to crown a new king. Who is, who is Luis? Who's Luis? Is that a real question? Yes, and I expect a real answer. About 15 years ago, a child enlisted in the army. But it wasn't his age that had people talking. It was his ruthless military genius. Hero to some, monster to others. Luis Guillaume, a prodigal tactician and a master of magla arts. Some said it was only a matter of time before he made general. The youngest the nations had. Until he attacked the prince. That night, when the prince's quarters were breached, it was no ordinary mage who cast that fatal curse. It was Luis Guiaburn himself. But the son's death wasn't enough for him. Now he's got the father's blood on his hands. And if that king-slaying fiend ends up on the throne, we're all doomed. But when we were exploring the royal capital, there were a lot more Luis supporters than I expected. Yeah. How can they still trust him after all that? There were tons. Luis is cunning. He left no evidence. Accuse him as you will, but the allegations wouldn't stick. All they could do was send him as far away as possible. A post in the middle of nowhere. Plenty of soldiers never believed the charges in the first place. When they look at him, they see a capable veteran unjustly made into the noble scapegoat. Most think the Royal Army was at its best when he was in charge. And in truth, it's hard to deny. Without him, we'd never have crushed the rebel uprising so quickly. Damn him, man. But he's earned his titles. He's mastered the blade, magic, and he's clearly intelligent. To the masses who want change, he seems the savior they need. If even you're that worried about him, then this isn't going to be easy. 
Oh, there's some shadowy figures behind him. That's a him. hell of a mission. And I want in. Oh, Stroll, you were awake this whole time. So that's your game, eh? Pretend to sleep, eavesdrop on the plan. You're a fool to give yourself away. He's, um, <clears throat> he's, he's a noble, noble person. If you want my blood, then let your blade strike true. I'm not going to run. Not from you, and not from a chance to do what's right. Look, Grius, he saved our lives back there. And it sounds like we could use the help. Seems like kind of a waste to kill him. Especially if he's volunteering. <sighs> then answer me this. The boy's all but a stranger to you. Yet you risk your life to save him. Why? I would live, fight, and die a noble, sir. To have done otherwise would betray my title, to say nothing of my heart. Uh, I'm losing my edge. Make me regret <laughs> this, and I will slay you where you stand. He's getting You'll soft in us? his old age. Right then. My life and sword are yours. As far as the rest of the world's concerned, you perished in that castle. You'll find the job ahead will be easier for a dead man. Your lives are kept only by the blades in your hands. And you'll raise them at my command. We have to. Quest start. Save the prince from death's curse. Save the prince from his curse and defeat Louise Guiaburn, the treacherous fiend, who not only attacked the prince but murdered the king. Deadline unknown. Rank seven diamonds out of ten. Louise will also be at the royal funeral. <clears throat> If we are not back to the capital by then, we lose our chance at his head. But no main roads. That'll mean checkpoints and questions. We are bound for a different route. We'll cut through the abandoned mine up ahead to save us going the long way round. For tonight, see to your wounds. We'll leave at first light. But I'm counting on you. New ally, Grius. The battle-hardened veteran has become your ally. Feels like the mission is finally starting. Let's set up our camp then. Let's do it. Now, we should finally be able to get some rest. This is your first deployment, boy. Thank your lucky stars you survived a brush with a human. Yeah, humans, they can be pretty nasty creatures. What the hell was that? It was like no beast I've ever seen. No one truly knows. They're protected by Magla. So even the sharpest steel does little good against them. They're no simple beast. All we do know is with every passing year, more of their kind tear travelers apart. That was why I was first sent undercover here, investigating. I see something. Even the sharpest steel does little against them. So I guess magic is the way to go. Against the humans? And? Did you learn anything? Simmer down, boy. There wasn't a damn thing to be found in those monsters. Ah. <sighs> well, the moon's still low. If you've any other questions, now's the time. Hmm, tell me more about the mission. I want to hear about the mission. With numbers like this, a head on assault would be suicide. Quick, covert assassinations are best bet. Kingslayer or no, Luis has a lot of public favor behind him. To the people, he's the only man with the wit and war power to bring down humans. The military seems powerless to stop them, so he plays savior. The man's practically a monster himself. By your age, he was not only a master tactician, but damn near an archmage besides. And the three of us alone are supposed to stop him? We'll just have to blend in with the crowd at the funeral. I won't abide him surviving the ceremony. He will die by my hand. Uh, a fire should keep the really dangerous stuff away, I hope. What was that power in you, I wonder? Gria seemed to know something well... about it. Well, hey. I say use it or lose it. That said, let's take the rest of the day off. Okay, let's not rest quite yet. Oh, 
Never in all my life have I witnessed anything like that power you used. Tell me, is it some sort of magic? No, I suppose it couldn't be. Not with the igniters we were supplied with, at least. Yours was broken in the commotion, besides. <sighs> Incredible. If only I'd had that power kind of power back then. Apologies, I'm just thinking out loud. Today's been a trying day for both of for us both, so let's get some rest. <clears throat> You've done a fine job delivering that message, lad. It's fairly... It's finally time for us to act for his highness. Ah, you want to ask about that power, don't ya? Huh? I had a question of my own. You seem to know a great deal about the royal family. Before you infiltrated the army, who were you? Indeed. Nothing but a mercenary. And yet his majesty gave me the honor of being his highness, the pr uh, prince's tutor in swordplay. The night of the attack, I was there. I see. Truly? That's incredible. Got it? It's getting late. Okay, let's rest. Can't sleep? I guess, guess I'm, I'm not surprised oh. after what we just went through. <laughs> I thought it I thought I was supposed to talk. Still, you've gotta keep yourself rested to be at your best. I know. I know. I will. I wanted to tell you, though. When the human attacked, I heard a strange voice. It told me my duty would be to guide you. What do you think it meant? I mean, I haven't exactly been much of a guide so far. All I told you was that we had to deliver our message, and that almost got you killed. I never expected it would be this dangerous, and... It feels kind of like it's my fault. Um... It's not your fault. It's not your fault. You say that, but... Look... I can't fight with you. But... As long as you're up against all this scary stuff... I'll try to help however I can. You've got something special, you know? I don't know what it is just yet. But I believe in you. Oh, hey, uh, you know what insomnia is good for? Catching up on reading. Oh, story time. If only our lives were anything like the world in your novel. It's just war after war here, with magla arts fueling the flames. But it's a nice fantasy. Enjoy it while you can. And he's about to just pass out. <laughs> good night. Night night. Human. Well, hello. Hello. <laughs> nice to meet you. I've been waiting. And now you've acquired the most interesting power. truly are an intriguing one. Fascinating. In the moments where your heart is most gripped by the book, I can reach out to you. My name is Moore, and I am the humble author of the novel you've been reading. Moore? You stand now in my study. Quite something, isn't it? Cat. A hall of wisdom, purpose built for the research of certain powers. I call it academia. Alas, it's as much a prison as it is a library. His most merciful majesty saw fit to lock me in this place. Pretty angelic voices. has me a bit addled, honestly. I no longer remember where in the kingdom my study actually lies. 
I never imagined my voice would reach beyond these walls. Until you appeared. And now, by whatever strange forces are afoot, I can speak directly to your mind. Music got very intense. So, what would you say to an alliance? Can you turn the music down? <laughs> um, what kind of an alliance? What kind of an alliance? What kind of alliance? There must be more you wish to know. For instance, the nature of this fascinating power you've awakened to. I believe you have found a way to wield true magic. You need no petty conduit of mortal make. You can even change your appearance using the raw magma within. It is above all a mystic, long-hidden art. Now the stuff of legend. What I have come to call archetypes. Archetypes? A spirit of heroic virtue. A transformative power that manifests only in those who embody the heroes and kings of old in some core aspect. Heroes of antiquity are often depicted as near mythic figures with forms transcending the mortal. These accounts are no mere allegory, but truth. However, none of my records describe anyone wielding such power as freely as you. Perhaps you are meant for not just proficiency, but mastery. In their truest form, archetypes represent the power of a true hero. One who can drive away calamity and evil in this world, no matter its form. Indulge me this request, and I believe my dream may yet be possible. Together, we can restore the kingdom's ideals. I shall gladly provide you knowledge and assistance to master your newfound power. So what say you? Will you take my hand in friendship? Okay. Okay. The bargain is struck then. I hear a voice from somewhere. The scholar in search of Utopia, more. Within him dwells the virtue of the seeker. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. Oh. New bond. Now let's see what manner seeker of seeker archetype. The party can now study the seeker once unlocked in academia. Bright-eyed student allows the party to change between archetypes once unlocked in academia. Oh lord, what is this? Oh god. I can sense the heroic embodiment of the seeker for more. Tutorials, followers. More is the first of your followers, people that support your quest as steadfast allies that you can grow closer to. Strengthen your bonds with your followers. Strengthening your bonds with your followers will lead to unlocking various abilities that can change the shape of your journey. More is just the first of many, so keep an eye out. We'll meet again, I'm sure. Here's to our joined path and the thrills that yet lie ahead. Okay. The royal funeral draws ever closer. Five days remain. Five days remain. Already then? From here on, we travel in secret. If we are to get back into the capital, we'll have to do it undetected. So we'll cut through the forest, find the abandoned mine shaft in the mountain, and take the tunnel to the other side. Forest, mineshaft, tunnel. Now I like it. They'll never see us coming, huh? Lad, you'll be our vanguard. It'll be a trial by fire, but the sooner you get used to that power, the better. Okay. Speaking of, you were talking like you know something about it. Mm, not much. Just what I've picked up from missions in the early days. I've only heard it's a power found in those who walk a righteous path. Sounded like superstition to me, but everything's always clearer on the battlefield. Once I saw it in action, 
I could tell it was no fable. Never thought it'd come back to haunt me. Despite all my training and research, I never managed to master it myself. Huh. It really is something special, then. Don't forget. One wrong move, and I'll cut you down. I'm aware. I'm watching you. <laughs> yes, I get it. Just trust me, all right? Right. Let's check the map. This'll all be for nothing if we get lost. This place... They're called the Nord Mines, apparently. Going through them will put us near the capital, it, it seems. That being the case... This road should take us to Grand Trad. All right. We'll check for a way around. Next stop, Grand Trad. Woohoo! <laughs> the Nord Mines are full of complex paths. We can go through them to approach the capital undetected. Don't let your guard down. We'll be going through the Nord Mines. Are you ready? Go! Good. We should hurry. Our focus is making it to the royal capital. The Nord Mines, located northwest of Grand Trad. It is resource rich with magma crystals. Its proximity to the capital simplified crystal excavation, but the Sanctus Church's sudden proclamation of closure stopped work in its tracks, exiting the forest. The party continues along the wooded road, leading to the derelict mine. Pretty ingenious way to do the loading screens, huh? <sighs> the mine's entrance should be just ahead. Don't stray off the path. <sighs> huh? Hmm? What's the matter? What happened? I may be imagining it, but... <sighs> I can't help but feel we're being watched. No. Hmm. This deep in the wilderness, though. Couldn't be. Sorry. I'm just on edge. Don't let your guard down. Looking for an opening to escape? Don't forget I have my eye on you. Look at that. Hey, look. Up in the air. <sighs> that large bird is known as the corv as a corvo. It stalks its prey from the sky, then goes in for an ambush. Hmm. Ah, so what now? Like we needed another addition to our list of problems. Maybe we can hide and wait it out? No, we need to keep moving. We're already low on time as it is. Besides... Let me guess. You could move much faster if I died back there and you didn't need to keep an eye on me. Come on, have a little faith. Let's go. Should I? If you're truly worthy, then demonstrate it. We need to move. Don't fall behind. The mine's entrance should be up ahead. We're not alone, though. All right. I'm ready to level up. Stop! Oh, hold on. There's some wild dogs over there. Well, we should fight them. Hundos. The beasts hunt in packs. They should come at us together. We'll be overwhelmed if we're not careful. We can't give them a chance to surround us. We'll need to find a different path for now. Why do you hesitate, lad? It's just a pack of wild dogs. Barely worth a moment's worry for someone such as you. Really? You still don't get it. So be it. It seems you need an impromptu lesson on the basics of combat. Pay attention as this subject affords few mistakes. First, take a look at your foes. Consider, is this your first meeting, or are you already familiar with them? Got it. Once you've assessed their strength, prepare your next move. If they're stronger, approach with caution. If they're weak, cut them down quickly. Now, size up that hundo. What do you make of it? Um... Um, is weaker? Indeed. You slipped out of death's grip at the fort, so this should be hardly a challenge. Press L2 to activate face sight to... See, okay, blue 
is low level. Same level is yellow and red means uh, you're in danger and white is unknown. Press L2 to activate. Okay. Yep. yep. What am I doing? Oh, here we go. When you've leveled up to a point where you think you could overpower certain enemies, you can simply approach the enemy to see if their color has changed. When engaging a weaker force, clear your mind and simply do what must be done. Put them to the sword. Weaker enemies can be defeated quickly with a simple square attack. In addition, being attacked on the field by a weaker enemy will not force you into a, square, a squad battle, though the protagonist will still take damage. If you press L1 when the cursor is over an enemy, you will lock onto that enemy. That enemy will always be in view and you can easily close the distance by attacking. All right. Understood? Now try it for yourself, lad. L1? Oh, that just pulled up my map. Let's push through. Come on. All right. Let's push through. Come on. Come on. Hey, look at that. Nice and quick. Let's press on. Oh, oh, that's right. I have one more rule for you to keep in mind. Got it. Never drop your guard, even against weaker foes. On the battlefield. Fortunes can turn up, turn if you let up for even a moment. Should that happen, change your tactics and fight together as one. Stay calm and you'll be fine. Press square to in uh, press triangle to initiate squad ben uh, battle. If you use, um, if you use it while de after defeating its break gauge with square attacks, the battle will start with a great advantage in your favor. However, if you are attacked by an enemy stronger than you, you'll be forced into a battle where the enemy is at an advantage. Survey the situation and use different methods to fight. Never stop looking for ways to seize any tactical advantage. Fighting in dungeons, evaluate the enemies in your vicinity, then decide whether you'll dispatch them quickly with square attacks to send them first or jump directly into a strategic squad battle using triangle. Base site will help you determine your battle approach while staying out of enemy reach. Use it to be efficient as you tackle a dungeon. I'm counting on you. There's no replacement for first-hand experience. Get comfortable with fighting before we reach the Grand Trad. I need to be sure you can defend yourself. Being the case. With these sorts of monsters as your enemy, it'd do good to practice fighting. No choice but to cut through them. Okay, so we don't know. So we can just try to stun them and then we can go into a squad battle. So we don't know. Uh, if you're unhappy with how a battle is going, you can restart it from the beginning by pressing L3. What? Pressing R2 assist will automatically move the cursor to an enemy who has a weakness to a skill you have. Wild Corvo. Maybe not. Come forth, royal soul. Not we. Even easier than expected. That should do it. Whoa. Danger. Oh, shit. This won't stop us. Trivia. Enemy ambush! If you're attacked in a dungeon, you'll be forced into a squad battle that begins on the enemy's turn, which is dangerous. Get out of here! Take this! What? What was that, Oh! Oh no! He missed, so we lost. We missed one of our turns, huh? Right. <laughs> this music is great. That was brilliant. Yeah, it's all right. How's that? You could do it. Butterfly. Not 
keep an eye out. Uh, down. We have the edge. This could be our turn. We make the first move. Let's go. Scour. Let's see if they're weak to win. Oh, they are. Nice. All right, let's uh, let's keep going. Hey, we gotta level up. Our endurance increased, and we have another point we can put in. Let's do um some agility this time. I don't know. I'm just doing random stuff. I haven't done any luck. Maybe I should get some points into luck. Luck might be good. Ooh, a little vendor. Let's give him a fight. Well, we know they're weak to our wins, so we might as well do that. I think I'm getting used to this. Hello! 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 I guess I'm just on edge. I know it's funny to think so in a deserted place like this, but I feel like I'm being followed. What are you doing in such a remote place? Whoa, I'm not your enemy, friend. I'm just a peddler. I have a regular nearby, so I came for business, but the beasts are really bloodthirsty today, so I assumed a human appeared. For instance, have you heard about the human who appears from nowhere and wipes out entire towns? Terrifying, no? <laughs> My apologies. I didn't mean to sour the mood. Um, hey, would you not be interested in buying something? Maybe. In my trade, you hear a lot of gossip. Plenty of rumors lately about beasts from all over getting more feral by the day. And when that happens, a human eventually appears out of nowhere and destroys some town or village. Chills me to even speak of it. I heard that monsters have been running amok lately at the nearby border fort. Hope nothing bad has happened. We can buy medicinal herbs. We have 10. Medicine heals 100. A revival is 900. I'm not going to buy anything right now. Can I sell something? A broken igniter that can be scrapped for parts. Consider selling it. Ah! Is there a way that we can sell all of our our stuff now that we want to sell? All of our treasure. Like at one button. Ah, look at that. Oh, there's a sell all right here. Look at that. Now then. Fairy dust. Ooh. <laughs> now we have some money oh have you found something worth selling I can give you a good price plenty of stuff in these woods lots of rubbish but some materials too you won't catch me scavenging for it some today Thank though you. I'll stay put until the beast settle down some you find something worth selling well you know where to find me okay bye <laughs> We have the edge. Seeker, scour. Last one. Take this. There's no way I'm stuck here. Don't let your guard down. There's more of them. I got this. If you see use for it, I say take it with you. Easy peasy. Get in there. Finish 
the yet. freedom of a wanderer. You didn't even finish that guy off. Come forth, royal soul. Scour. They start. Hey, this. Here we go. I fight for my own justice. Fight the a wild Corvo. Win. Take this sword. Finish the job. Some battles are hard to defeat. Looks like we're safe for now. <sighs> oh, he got me. Oh no, he got us. Let's go. Scour. Take this sword. Finish the job. Tougher than I thought. What? Finish the job? Ouch. Don't be careless. Here I go. Whoa, phantom dance. Woo. Let's hurry on. Hopefully that's the last of them for a while. Hold, the air here has suddenly grown tense. Got a moment? Hey, what's going on? We've been surrounded. Even out here, it would seem that the monsters are the least of our concerns. <sighs> I know you can hear me, so show yourself. Or would you rather we come at you? Damn, awfully sharp for an old goat, ain't ya? <laughs> the bastards live long enough. Kill them quick! Oh no! It's we must do this. I've never fought soldiers before, but I won't waver. Scour! <laughs> what is that? Never seen anything like it. That's not an igniter. <sighs> it's our turn now. William is being targeted. Coming at us. Press circle to guard, which consumes one turn icon. Guarding greatly decreases the d uh, damage your character takes and prevents any weakness from being exploited. This prevents the enemies from gaining turns too. What's that? Guard. During squad battles, your formation will affect the damage party members deliver and receive depending on their position. Those in the front row deal more damage with melee. Those in the back row deal less melee damage but take less damage from enemies. During battle, you can change your formation by using the up and down D-pad to move party members between rows. Formation. Does that use a turn? A what? This is front. Oh, we're in the front row. Um, okay, so to the rear back door. row. Oh, and it doesn't use a turn. Does it? Did it? I don't know. I'm gonna heal myself. Charging in. Well, I don't need to be in the front row if I'm going to use my wand on him, right? Take this! It's our turn now. Blast! What's that? I think something's coming. Watch out! I'll guard. Actually, I probably could have just killed him. Here they come! Gotta strategize with this kind of game. Are they the soldiers from the fort? They survived? No, that couldn't be. They're simply deserters, aren't they? No. 
That's not what I'm asking. How would they have already mobilized the pursuit? Hmm. I don't know, but I think it's safe to say I'm the least of your worries at this point. Let's hurry. In any case, we should probably keep moving. Let's go. All right. The mines. Here we are. It looks so creepy. Well, I guess you did say it was abandoned. gonna be hard not to vote for this as my top soundtrack of the year i think <laughs> but i don't think we're gonna finish this game before the year ends so it's probably gonna be for next year but yeah it's some good stuff i the crown theocracy ordered it so i haven't been to this place in quite some time despite the royal decree i still hear from miners risking it all to come to this place seeking the riches left within hey I'll happily trade some illegal miners for the armed detachment of soldiers pursuing us. Shall we hurry inside? You're not the wrong there. Make preparations if you must, but be quick about it. So? Okay, we're gonna go into the mines. Oh. We healed up. We can buy some stuff. What is it? Alright. We're just... We're just passing through. Haven't you heard? This place was abandoned, but a few blokes stayed behind to do some less than legal mining. One of them is an old friend of mine. I sell the stones he digs Please, out. But enough of that. Surely we met for a reason. So if there's something you need, allow me to accommodate you. All right. So we have one revival medicine. Let's let's get um, a couple more since we have some money on us. And, um, I think we're good. I'm just, you know, just in case somebody dies. You know? Last night's incident wiped out the fort's entire garrison. Surely they lack the manpower needed to search for deserters. Somehow we're already being pursued. Regardless, due to the nature of our mission, it'd be best if we, if, the, if they consider us dead. Let's push through this mine while we can. So, it wasn't just my imagination to think we were being followed this whole time. But like Gaia said, something's off. When that human came out of nowhere, it wiped out all the soldiers to the last. Then again, maybe it didn't come out of nowhere. But if that's the case... No, it couldn't be. What, it, what, are, you, what, are, you trying to, what are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? So I can save here because we're in a safe spot. So let's do that. We have like 10 minutes. Um, so like if I have to, if I have to stop in the middle of this mine, do, is there a way I could save? There's another save spot not too far in. Okay. Wait a second. Wait. There's probably a bunch of shady miners in there, right? Will we be safe around them? Fear not. Most of them are the same miners who worked here before the closure. Besides, it'd be against their best interest to cause a scene and risk the crowd theocracy cr uh, coming down on this place, right? Then... Oh, sounds like they won't be a problem then. Are you ready? Let's go. I am super ready. If our pursuers catch up with us, it'll be a whole mess of trouble that I'd rather not deal with. Let's move on with haste. Okay, we'll try to get to a save point in here. And then we'll we'll stop there. However, it's dead quiet. Are you sure there are still people working here? That disquieting stillness you feel? Those are your instincts alerting you to the bloodthirst in the air. Judging by the people who were the after us before, then it's likely. Stop! Don't move! Uh-oh. Don't you dare move! You're trapped like rats now! Lay down your arms and surrender peacefully! As I thought, we've walked right into an ambush. They've got us at a disadvantage, catching us in this narrow bottleneck. We need to turn back, now! 
It's no use. The entrance is already barricaded with soldiers. <laughs> Surrender immediately. We've got nowhere to run. And if you don't comply, heh, then the miners will pay, pay the price for your insolence. Wait. This is a misunderstanding. We're not deserters. We're forced to retreat. We had no choice. A human? Oh, yes. We're well, we're well aware of your predicament. That's exactly why we can't have any survivors. Our orders are to let no one escape. Well, it appears we've stepped into a whole damned conspiracy. We've no choice. We fight our way through. Here they come. Stop them here and now. Next time, for sure. What are you doing? Boom. We can't get slow. Stay focused. Have you well, have you ever now. seen this before? I didn't think so. Oh damn, they kinda weak. I chose the wrong opponent. I think that's all of them. Oh, they is super weak. Okay, cool. Scrap metal. Over there, someone's collapsed. Hey, are you all right? I told you, I didn't see no deserters. This place. Don't kill me. Oh, the life is gone from his eyes. Why? To send a message, boy. Either we give ourselves up. These innocents pay the price. But the only one who could know we survived. And the only one who could send soldiers after us. Oh, come on. Let's move. What? But there was no one there. <laughs> what does he know? He yeah. knows something Stop and right he's there. not telling us. Oh. I can't believe this. Looks like they found us. Hut. What do you know, Strahl? What do you know? Look. Wait, isn't that... <clears throat> Just as I thought. It all makes sense now. It appears that we're expected. Is it a human? Oh, that guy? I knew I'd find you here. Well, how would he know that we survived? He didn't even go. You were the only one who never went up to the fort itself, after all. It couldn't have been anyone else. Who would have thought three sorry stragglers would make it past a whole unit of assassins? Bastard. You never intended for anyone to survive. You knew the human would be there. Naturally. You heard the reports. I only put more bait on the hook. Though I wasn't expecting that damn thing to be rampaging already. You sent those soldiers to their deaths. Why? Because the kingdom's guard is powerless before the humans, and only a pile of bodies will prove that to the public. So someone wants the king's guard disgraced, and when the people need him most, a savior rises as their shield. Is that your game? Savior, speak plain, boy. You think he's one of Luis's men? A pitiful flock needs its shepherd. If a little blood is what it takes to show them who their real savior is, then that's a price easily paid. That's why those sons and daughters die. For your savior. <laughs> they aren't the first. The soldiers cry for reinforcements. The villagers plead to be spared. But I know better than to confront a human. A... a village? You refused. Wait, then you were the one who... Uh-oh. Seven years ago, 
The first flames day of June, a village in the northern hills was razed to the ground. A village called Harlia. Hmm? Well, yes, that might have been a name. Then you made a fatal mistake, Klinger. You left one survivor! Damn! Stay back! Help me! Ugh. You played right into our hands, you know. <clears throat> this was the only road without checkpoints. A simple deduction. You're a disgrace to your title. I may not make it out alive, but as for you, you're hopeless! Oh, oh shit! Feared with bitterness, O oh, thou anguished traveler. It is time for thou to choose thy path. Yes, let's see, oh, let's see, let's star, see. Whose light reveals the king's own path. Awaken. Abandon their people and the innocent die by their scorn. If that's the real world, then it can die alongside you. Uh... This is crazy. My is Leon Stroll the Halliotis. <laughs> my home and my family were taken from me. It's a microphone now? I am the last of my noble bloodline. And in the name of my people, I will strike you down where you stand! Holy shit! He's like a rock star! Oh! Come. Damn! I will show you a world with honor! That was some... That was some sweet voice what acting. What is this? Wait, he's got power like yours now? Well, better show him how to use it. I don't know what you think you're doing, but I'll not cave to an empty threat like that. This ignite is all I need to turn you to ash. You lot, get to it. Cover me. So he scampers off to protect himself, and his subordinates get to be his living shields. The man's showing his true colors. I'll fix the filthy coward with the end he deserves. The Ignite is powerful, but it takes care and calculation to wield. If you sense danger, steal your defenses and endure it. Diagonal slash. Right on target. Oh. I will fight nice control. Seeker. Don't bother struggling. Okay. Deals weak physical slash damage to one enemy. I see, I see. I'll cut you down. <laughs> Die. 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 You. You. Ooh. Defense Rose. Okay. Okay. Well. Might as well keep after him. You want to do the finishing blow, Strahl? Get your revenge! I got a captain's uniform. Okay. Nice. Not bad at all. Our luck has increased. 
We'll get our strength up. I shall rise to the occasion. Ooh, he got a bunch of stats up. I'm eager to see you use Nice. That. Um Ooh, Tarukaja is new. Okay. Nice. Hero passive makes support attacks from your comrades happen more easily in overworld combat. We have Tarukaja increase our attack. Um next uh, next rank will get a weak physical slash damage to one enemy. Medium wind damage to one enemy, a cyclo, and tetra break. Negate one enemy's repel physical still skill. Okay. Impossible. Ah! Never expected a commissioned officer would end up a wild-eyed zealot. How? How did I do all that? And without an igniter. Just like him? Who are you two, really? I... I'm Leon Stroll. Just a fallen noble from the countryside. Back there, Klinger mentioned a village that was raised by a human. They sent for help, but he abandoned them. Halia was its name. I'm the son of its lord. And now I know what really happened. We sent our fastest riders, but... we were doomed from the start. If Luis was behind it, then that's all I need to know. He's the one who'll answer for it. I have my own reason to fight now. I don't want to be an ally of convenience alone, so once more, please, let me join your cause. Come on, come on. Come on, Grius, come on, come on! What do you say, Grius? I see, keeping an eye on you was too much trouble in the first place. So you've no objections? What say you, friend? Oh, you're already one of us. We're brothers in arms. So get out of yourself. We're brothers in arms. We're brothers in arms, my friend. Brothers in... Uh, yes. Yes. I'll do my best to deserve that honor. Yes. Ah, BFFs. The proud noble, Stroll. Within him dwells the virtue of the warrior. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. New bond! Together we stand. Warrior archetype. I feel struck by inspiration. I found a new way to harness this power. I can sense the heroic embodiment of the warrior from Strahl. Did you feel that just now? What's going on? Does it have something to do with that odd magic? Now that I think about it, once you awakened, isn't it weird that Strahl followed not long after? What does this mean? Huh? Wait, what? Ah, huh, we're here again. Hey, where are we? What just happened? Surprising indeed. Somehow you find yourself here once more. And a fairy. I thought their kind long extinct. Do they yet take refuge in the Elven Sanctum? Hey! You gonna talk to me or just at me? We meet again, my friend. Though admittedly sooner than I'd expected. Remarkably, another has awakened. What miracle is this? Yes, that same power now stirs in your companion. Another of the mighty archetypes. 
His hair is so long. Do you recall our discussion earlier about how archetypes are an original form of magic? Um, sure, yeah. Um, well, more or less. Consider this. As an elder, you are an outcast of society, yes? Thanks for reminding Your me. Your only identity is a kind of destiny you may defy but not escape. Mm -hmm. All mortals suffer under the weight of our burdens. But in facing and embracing that anxiety, you make it your innermost power. You find freedom. And so, the lives of those who overcome their hardships and embody the virtues within are passed down as heroic tales. Your companion, too, had his eyes open to his true path and claimed its virtue. That awakening is your doing, you know. He awakened to the archetype that protects you. Hey, hold on a second! Who even are you? How much do you know? I'm warning you, if you mess with him, you're gonna have to go through me! <laughs> Glad we have our little fairy bodyguard with us. Ah, you two share quite a deep connection, don't you? Well, we didn't always, but now we're partners to the end. We're linked down to the depths of our hearts. Right? Uh, right. Right. <laughs> we trust each other. I've got his back and he's got mine. And that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. There you go. The mystical that is fairy, it. Gallica. Gallica. Within her dwells the virtue of the mage. Ooh. Nurture thy bond with her. Ooh. And a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. New bond. I Rank one. That's the whole reason I'm Two, here. Two, three, four, eight total? I can sense the hero heroic embodiment of the mage from Gallica. Hey, wasn't that... Fascinating. Do you understand what just happened? By connecting with others who have found their resolve, you awaken to new strength. And further, you and all your allies may fight with the strength of any archetype in your circle. As an example, your other companion, the fellow with the eye patch, he seems to have some training and knowledge regarding the wielding of an archetype. By his own account, nothing came of it. Yet if you so desire it, you can awaken the true power within him. What? You mean Rius could use this power too? The nature of the seeker. No, perhaps it is simply your own nature. You truly are remarkable. If you seek answers, then go and claim them. This right here. What I'm about to show you is a lineage chart of the archetypes I've been researching. That said, there are many I've yet to see, so it's far from complete. Each of you has your own chart. You will use these charts in the assigning of archetypes. Well then. Firstly, let us consider the one-eyed warrior who yet bears no archetype. Open Grius's lineage chart, please. Okay. William, the seeker. Stroll, the warrior. Grius, nothing yet. This here. This is the chart that shows the power and connection of the archetypes. You can gain a new archetype by selecting one here and studying its powers. To study, you will need Magla, the source of all magic, but simply drawing from the Magla within yourself will put too heavy a burden on you. What this means is you will need to gather magic from your battles and other sources. Keep that in mind as you travel. Each character can study archetypes obtained through the story by selecting the corresponding icon on the tree. Studying archetypes consumes magic, minuscule shards of magla crystals. Once a character has studied an archetype, you can use the main menu to change their channeled archetype at no cost. That means... To learn is to change oneself, they say. Here, you may achieve that through study of the archetypes and their deepest secrets. Now then. Now, I'd like you to choose an archetype from among these. 
Okay, so we have Seeker, Mage, and Warrior. Okay. Well... I'm already doing Seeker with, um, Will. And I'm already doing Warrior with, uh... What's this? With, a uh, Stroll. So I guess you're gonna be a mage for now. So... Study. Right here. An expert in magical attacks of three specialties. Fire, ice, and electric. Such a broad palette of magical offense can be crucial to exploit enemy weaknesses. Note, however, that a mage's defenses are paltry at best. They cannot endure much harm. They are best kept out of foes' attentions, or the battle will turn dire. They also tend to go through their MP fast, and a mage without MP, well, they're practically dead weight. You'll have to use your magic strategically to succeed. Blizz, Conde, Magic Font, Magic Circle. All right. 500 magic is required to channel the mage. This is the archetype you've chosen. Um... So, okay. So now I'm going to let you guys like help, help me to explain this really quickly since it's super late. Hopefully we'll be able to save after this. So... When I spend 500 of my magic... To unlock mage, is that only for Grius? Do I have to use magic to unlock for each person specifically? And so the seeker is already unlocked on um You know what? I'm just gonna do it. Whatever. Okay. I mean he he looks physically like my tankiest bro, but I guess the archetype is the main like thing you get tons of it in this game like do they have does each character have base stats like are they more attuned to like maybe certain archetypes like if you were to like min max kind of thing yes okay yes he's earned my trust of course so be it, following you and the young man called Stroll. Another worthy wielder of archetypes joins your ranks. Ranks. From this sanctum, I shall speak to the heart of the man with the eye patch, Grius. Feel his resolve and let a new soul dwell in his heart. I hear the voices of past heroes' souls. O oh, worthy heart, who tempers anxiety into strength, if thou art prepared to pursue knowledge that surpasses the natural logic of the world, I shall bestow upon thee our soul, the soul of the mage. What did you see? Mm -hmm. What is this? Is it truly an archetype? This is the same magic I once strove for, I can't believe it's finally in my grasp. The mage archetype has awakened. You can now change archetypes from the main menu. I didn't think I could grow anymore. Okay. Mage. Fascinating. That man with the eye patch should now have awoken into an archetype. Similarly, I can imbue you that and that noble youth with a new archetype power. Feel free to experiment now, and from here on. So I have 800 art, um, ma MAG now. Magic. Mag? Mag? Okay. I see. So I could study warrior with him. So let's go. He's level 7. Archetypes. Okay. By talking to more in academia and studying archetypes, you'll be able to unlock and then use new archetypes. You can gain useful strategic knowledge by attending Moore's lectures or by reading book books from the surrounding bookshelves. Some functions of the main menu are now available, such as changing your archetype. Archetypes that have been studied in academia can be swapped in towns or dungeons at any time. 
Changing them to suit your needs is a good strategy. Okay. You can now check the status of your royal virtues. The qualities necessary in a king from the main menu. You can raise these virtues in many ways. Auto save. What now? Whoa. What the hell? The whole menu's Oh, are we done with the tutorial? Or part of the tutorial? <laughs> <gasps> okay i can save right here okay oh right we're here oh boy <sighs> oh god how we're gonna be in here for a long time aren't we holy shit book of apocalypse let's start here this What's looks nice this? What's this ominous red book? It's all chained up. That is... I advise you not to... Uh, don't touch that. I have a variety of books here from all over the world. Many of them are quite pr uh, pleasant reads. That one is not. All right. Suffice it to say, it must not be read without due precaution. Okay. Invasion Tactics Handbook. Enemy reinforcements. Remember that your foes also have a grasp of teamwork. Charging blindly into a well-tuned enemy group can lead to easily preventable loss of life. Wielding weapons. A channeled archetype's power has a significant impact on the effect of any gear or weapons equipped. Each weapon category offers their own attack range and agility. Once you understand the dynamics of archetypes, the combat and combat gear, success will come easier. Different archetypes change both the actions available to you and the protagonist's attack range. Keep this in mind when choosing an archetype for the protagonist. Archetype tactics. Archetypes cannot realize their true potential on individual strength alone. Strategies must account for attacks, support, recovery, teamwork, and formation. Naturally optimal strategies require first grasping the fundamentals, yet some battles demand a team of singular specializ specialization and boldness in planning. Consider the balance of attack, recovery, and assist skills. If you obtain information about enemies in advance, you can arrange archetypes to counteract enemy strengths and strike at enemy weaknesses. Cultivate your archetype strategically so that you may employ a wide range of battle strategies. Squad tactics. Oh boy, yielding turns. Allowing your ally to take action instead and leaving yourself vulnerable may seem futile at first glance, but you'll find it lends many strategic possibilities. Try to consider the many aspects of battle, such as the order of turns, advanced advantages, advantages against the enemy, and the state of your allies when deciding your actions. Uh, passing... Uh, it consumes only half a turn an icon turn this can be useful when the current character's skills are not effective against the enemy or when you want to give a character with recovery magic another action guarding it goes without saying that a blind offensive rush may not be enough to win it will be necessary at times to raise your defenses and endure an incoming attack formations your rose distance from the enemy has a great impact in battle. A true tactician will switch the formation of allies to better suit the situation at hand. Those in the front, wheel front row deal more damage with melee, and the back row deal less, but take less damage from enemies. 
Negated attacks. If you lose the ability to attack, the enemy will quickly gain the upper hand. When confronting an unfamiliar enemy, due caution is warranted. Normally, an I action consumes one turn icon, but the result of the action can change the amount of consumption. If an attack is nullified or evaded, the number of turn icons consumed is doubled. If it's reflected or absorbed, all turn icons are lost. And the turn forcibly ends. Ooh, that's not good. Status ailments. Some monsters inflict lasting conditions called status ailments. It is wise to be know their effects, of course, but even better to have the means of remedy close to hand. There are two types of status ailments, physical and mental. It's possible to be afflicted with both at once. Physical ailments persist after the battle ends. Mental will recover when the battle ends. Whoops, go back. Poison, we know what poison is. Paralysis, high chance of an action failing. Malady, strength, magic, endurance, agility, and luck are greatly reduced. Additionally, HP and MP recovery effects are nullified with recovery amounts becoming zero. Hex, half of any damage dealt is dealt to self as well. Additionally, while afflicted, resistance to dark is greatly reduced and susceptibility to status ailments is increased. Burn. Additional damage is taken after being attacked. Frostbite. Attack damage is greatly reduced. Mental status ailments. Days. Hit rate for attacks is reduced. Charm. Characters will act on their own, attacking allies or assisting enemies. I know all about that from Persona 3. Forget, character cannot use archetype skills, sleep, cannot take any actions, and any physical attacks suffered are always critical hits. Ooh. Rage, character has higher attack power, but damage from enemies is greatly increased. All actions become normal weapon attacks. Anxiety, an ally only ailment preventing the use of archetype skills. If attacked while aff afflicted, the enemy will not consume a turn icon. Stun, an enemy only ailment, they cannot act for one turn. Okay, well, it's gonna be hard to memorize all these icons. Rewards for certain victory. Overpowering the enemy utterly can be a source of immense growth. At times, it is good to wield all your powers in full force to test your own limits. If you crush all your enemies without getting damage, you'll receive bonus experience from battle. Okay, that is some really good information here. Massive statue. I wonder if this represents archetypes. It also looks like a merging of all the tribes. Oh, we like that. Spinning model. Oh, yeah? It spins around? Is it a toy? Awfully big, if so. This right here. That's a celestial globe. It models the movement of the stars. Astronomy is often confused with the study of magic, times being what they are. The association means both fields have been suppressed. Quite a shame. Mystical scrolls. The scrolls have the scroll has shapes of a language I've never seen before. It must be some kind of formula. It says the royal magic at the top. Uh, that's a formula for a rather complex spell. When mages devise such intricate magic, they commit the formula to scrolls in advance. Huh? Hold on. Are you saying the king himself wrote this? Why would it be here of all places? I couldn't begin to tell you. Perhaps the previous king had his reasons for imprisoning me here after all. I would love to decipher its contents, but it will take a good amount of time. It's written in a script I've never laid eyes on before. What? But before you go, just one thing. Would you mind taking a look at the very end of the scroll? What's this? This drawing. Take a look. Indeed. It's no more than a simple illustration, but do you not think it bears some resemblance to the seeker ar archetype? Moreover, it bears a caption, and mysteriously enough, of all the language therein, that is the one part I am able to parse. Hmm. 
It says bunny tails. <laughs> that freak That's freaky. Likely the name of a person. Unmistakably so. Though I could not begin to tell you why I feel so certain. That's me. I have a beard. A person's name. Hang on a second. Well, that's certainly a mystery on top of an enigma. Makes me wonder what it says. Adieu. Should you learn anything new, I would appreciate it very much if you'd share it with me. Please examine the scroll whenever you have learned new truths. Ooh, that's interesting. Cat. That's a good kitty. Good kitty. Don't usually see this kind of cat in the city, huh? This cat, you see. Cute, isn't he? I named him Plateau. He's the only solace I have as I'm confined here. Looks like Plateau wants to give me something. Hero's incense. That's Ooh. a good boy. Oh, it looks like he's taken a shine to you. That's a valuable item, so do hold on to it. Oh, I don't want to accidentally sell them all when I'm trying to when I think I'm buying them. Okay, good to know. Hello. Uh, let's Does talk. Worry you? you want to know about cats? Ah, about that cat in particular. Hmm. I'm afraid he's a mystery to me too. Dear as he is, when I awoke in this place, he was already here. That's a good boy. But he eases my mind. Petting him helps this place feel less lonely. Indeed, I feel as if I've known him all my life, for whatever reason. Study archetypes. Whose archetype will you change? Nobody's right now. Lectures. What would you care to know? Archetypes. Oh boy. Hmm. Okay. I'm not gonna read it in his voice. <laughs> Let's try to get through this stuff really quickly. And you guys shush. <laughs> I see you, Doom and Psycho. Shush. An archetype, it's an embodiment of a heroic virtue. Everyone bears one deep in their heart. Um, it awakens when faced with a looming threat. You face your own anxiety and then awaken the power, the truest essence of magic. Yet for it to take form, surely it is a manifestation of the heroic embodiment etched most prominently in your heart. This appearance they take on like extraordinary suits of armor. Perhaps this marks another purpose to protect the wielder from the terrible anxiety being released. It inspires a certain glow in battle as if facing your anxiety causes determination to surge in you like blood through veins throughout both body and weapon. <laughs> okay. Research documents on archetypes are kept in their respective bookshelves. I've checked the bookshelves already. What would you care to know? Let's study. Hmm. Okay, studying a new archetype will allow you to use it. It'll cost mag. Uh, to obtain new archetypes, you'll need to meet more followers. If you draw a new supporter to your side, I'd recommend visiting me to see what's been revealed. Hope you'll study many archetypes. I look forward to seeing these heroic embodiments come to fruition. I will even prepare gifts for reaching milestones. What would you care to know? Cool. Channeling them. Once it's studied, it can freely be channeled. Similar to equipping a weapon or armor, you should channel an archetype that best suits your situation. Studying an archetype will do you little good unless you channel them. Be mindful of that. What would you care to know? Advance. Each archetype can progress into stronger forms. Spending time with your followers is the key to pushing their associated archetype to greater heights. Okay. What would you care to know? Okay, let's get out of this. Okay, now let's go into our menu. What and now? let's check out our new menu. So pretty. Ooh. You think Mag is short for Magla? Yeah, maybe. Okay, skill. William. He can use... Okay, so he has Tarokaja now. We have a heal. Passive. Stroll has diagonal slash. Grius has 
bot deals weak fire damage to an enemy okay equipment let's check out equipment here seeker oh oh here we go legacy sword so i can switch this is where i can go to like switch archetypes maybe if i learn more okay we have a legacy sword and i have ooh, a soldier's sword okay i have a captain's uniform it's gonna give me endurance and agility change whose equipment oh he has it equipped oh that's equipped 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 wait huh i'm confused i guess how can i tell that this is being equipped by somebody else Shoes. Okay. Accessory. Traveler's charm. It also serves as a wish for your mission success. We have a crest. Indicates its bearer is of noble birth. I'm guessing that's equipped to stroll. Unpolished garnet. Um, what does this stuff do? I don't see any like stats or anything on them. Worn down red gemstone carried by soldiers. Maybe we don't have anything that um, that does anything yet. Strongest. Ooh. Archetype details. Party! Formation. Tactics. Let them decide. Oh, here we go. Fight to kill. Prioritize attacks. Party fights without holding back, including the use of consumables. Prioritize attacks. Prioritizes attacks that deal damage, conserving assumable consumables. Conserve MP. Prioritize health. Attack normally. Details. Oh, here we go. Okay. No, I think this UI looks really neat. Yeah, this is cool stuff. So base stats. Okay, so the main character's base stat is going to be whatever we pretty much set it to. Courage, wisdom, tolerance, eloquence, and imagination. So far, we're craven, we're naive, we're inflexible, we're tongue-tied, and we're vapid. So, not doing too hot. Stroll. He has got a lot of strength. And agility. And Grius, he's got a lot of strength, endurance, and agility. Okay. Maybe not the best to be a mage class right now, but that was the only other one available and that no one else was using at the moment, so... Follower. Ooh, okay, so these are our social links, basically. Our confidants. Or our followers. Wait, so social link is... Persona 4? Confidant is 5... What were they called in 3? So we have Gallica and Stroll. And oh god. Oh, and more. Synopsis. Ooh, rank one. 
fantasy novel author met in academia. Oh yeah, he wrote that novel that we have. Though he has lost his memory, he burns with passion for archetype research. Moore was jailed in academia by the past king for writing a novel depicting a utopia. With the novel acting as a bridge, he requests William cultivate archetypes for his research. Ability details. Seeker archetype. The party can now say the seeker allows the party to change between archetypes once unlocked. Reduces the magic cost of studying the seeker lineage. Oh, this needs rank two. Increases skill inheritance slots for the seeker lineage to two. The archetype tree becomes accessible from the main menu. Cool. Gallica, a fairy, rarely seen in the world. She was sent by the resistance to aim will in their search for an ally. Synopsis, somehow in academia, William and Gallica, Gallica find they share a common destiny. She invokes the power of a new archetype, the mage. And the warrior, Stroll, son of a rural noble house that fell in a human attack. Proud of his parents' legacy, he gladly risks his life for justice. Having discovered Luis's hand in the tragedy of his hometown, Stroll awakens to his archetype and vows to fight alongside William. Oh, oh shit. Whoa. There's more. What now? Quest. Oh, it's my shoes. It's my feet. In progress, save the prince from the death's curse. Alright, that's all we have right now. Calendar. Special events. Royal funeral is on the 11th. End of the mourning period. Forgiveness day. Whoa, 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 whoa. Memorandum. It's way too much stuff for me to like r keep up on reading it all. But humans, we could read about humans. Unknown monsters with bizarre forms, unlike any natural beast. Their bodies hold immense power amounts of volatile magla. They rampage through their surroundings indiscriminately. Despite their berserk nature marking little sign of intelligence, they can wield advanced magic beyond the grasp of all sentient beings. Many aspects in their biology and ecology remain a total mystery. Given their unnatural physical resilience, large specimens can wipe out entire nations. Although there have been sightings of humans since antiquity, actual encounters are incredibly rare, and they have long been dismissed from being any real threat. However, recent years have seen them appearing more rapid frequ frequency across the Crown's lands, which has the people um, uneasy. Okay, followers save requests. Royal virtues. Okay, how do I um? How do I leave? There's a door. Hi, young friend. You are truly as remarkable as I first believed. Others fated to awaken to their own power will be naturally drawn to you. To reach the lineage of power's greatest potential. You must acquire more archetypes and bring them together. After all, a hero without allies is nothing more than a lone dissenter. To save the many, you must learn to fight with the power of many. Only a champion of the people may awaken the power of heroes, and with it, seize a future of their own making. <sighs> when next you come to see me, I hope it shall be of your own volition. Open my book, then let your imagination conjure this place anew, as vividly as you can make it. I'm sure that will be enough to reunite us. As long as you walk your path, I shall faithfully watch over you. May we meet again.